What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and spend your disbelief. I am a manifestation coach, so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and contact me in the description box for some email coaching. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, I asked what you guys wanted me to film and a lot of you wanted me to film an updated revision video now without having to or now with my new like affirmations teaching rather than the previous one I filmed where it is that is where you go back into the scene and it's all visualization and stuff like that which is kind of hard for some people because I mean we don't want to think about the thing that upset us or traumatized us or hurt us so this is better so I'm gonna give you some examples on how I revise old things revise things on the spot and hopefully this clears up everyone's questions so revision is an amazing thing when you revise something you literally change it it literally becomes untrue essentially it never happened and anything that it caused will change any um, negative ripple effect that it caused or any circumstance that it caused when you revise the situation that caused it those other circumstances that happened will change so I'm going to tell you how I first revise on the spot. What I do specifically is say someone is telling me something and it's not what I want to be hearing. You're not telling me what I want. So when you're talking to me, all I'm hearing is you tell me what I want to hear. So if I'm asking for a yes, and you're giving me a no, in my head, you're giving me a yes. And in just a few minutes, more than likely, maybe a couple of hours, maybe a couple of days, you're going to give me my yes. Because all that matters is my mind. So I revise on the spot. All that matters is my thoughts, and what I want. So while you're talking to me and you're telling me no, in my head I'm hearing you say, yes, Sammy, yes, approved, it's yours, you can have it, whatever you want, I'd be more than happy to accommodate. That's what's going on in my head when you're telling me no. So when your SP is telling you, I don't wanna be with you, I don't want anything to do with you, don't care about you, leave me alone, in your head, they should be saying, I am in love with you. I can't stop thinking about you. You are literally all I think about. I have no idea. Like, you're just the best thing that's ever happened to me. You're my favorite person. You're all I want. That's what they said. I don't hear any of that other shit. I don't, I don't hear any of that. That's how you revise on the spot. When they're texting you or even saying it to you in your head, hear the opposite or affirm that they said the opposite let them finish do their thing let them do their thing don't react don't even react in the 3d just say okay no prob or gucci and then go in your head and affirm i know he's always telling me how much he loves me she's always telling me how she can't stop thinking about me Revise on the spot. Doesn't matter what you hear or see in the 3D. Revise on the spot. Immediately, the second you get the chance, revise on the spot. Affirm, affirm. They're always telling me that I'm the only thing they can think about. 
They're always telling me how much they love me. Oh my God, he is always begging to see me. He's begging to see me right now. He cannot stand to be away from me. Relies on the spot. Stop letting these people upset you. These situations upset you. And even if they do, even if they do, because I still react, I still get upset. I cried from frustration last week over my house shit. And then I got over it, got back on my thoughts, got my shit together mentally, and then it ended up working out perfectly. And I got everything I wanted. So, revise on the spot. Even if you reacted, revise anyway. React, cry, scream, I don't know. I don't know what you do when you react. But then pull yourself together, get your shit together, get your mental together, and go back to your affirming. Oh, so silly. They're always telling me how much they love me. He just told me how much he loves me. He is begging me to see him. He's begging me to call him. He is so ready to commit to me. He is constantly complimenting me. I am his favorite person. I am her favorite person. I am all they think about. Get back on your affirmations. And even when you're really, essentially, affirming is revising. Because if, if a situation is one way and you're affirming it to be the other, you're changing it. That's revision. But let's talk about it in the aspect of past traumas or things that hurt you or affected you and affected your life. But you don't want to go into the visualization. You don't want to go relive it totally understand that who does honestly if you can that's great do that but what I find more effective and I've done revision I've done revision Neville's way and again love Neville but it just didn't work for me but what is my thing is this okay the biggest thing I have revised is my money situation I affirmed, I'm like, I'm literally giving all of you my money, like I'm literally giving you all of my money affirmations. So if you're manifesting money and you've been watching a couple of my videos recently since my money and my like success and followers and stuff went up, go ahead and write them down. Like they work. I actually give them to my clients when they want money affirmations. Um, what I did was I affirmed, I've always had tons of money. I've always been rich. When really, I grew up with a single mom who had to work very hard for very little. And we barely had enough to get by. I couldn't be in any extracurricular activities in school. Couldn't do any of that. Always struggled. That's what it was. And it affected me in life. It made me have that same, you know, cycle. It created a, a broke mentality. I never knew money. You know, not good money. Not, I only knew barely get by money. But I know that I didn't want to live that way. So I revised it. And I would say, I always had money. We've always had money. We've always been rich. But say that you have a pattern of getting ghosted. We'll say getting ghosted. Um, what you're going to affirm instead is, I've always been great at relationships. Like literally every person I've ever been with wanted to commit to me or did commit to me. I always have long-term relationships. I'm just, I'm wife, husband, material like my relationships have always been long term that's you just are affirming the opposite but the key here i'm going to tell you the key the key is the absolute an absolute is like words like always i have always been wealthy i have always been great at relationships so when you're saying or if you've had a shitty life and i tell you to affirm everything in my life has always been perfect then it changes everything. Me and my toxic ass parent or cousin or 
aunt or uncle or whatever have have always gotten along perfectly. Everything has always been wonderful for me. Everything has always been easy for me. I've always been extremely lucky. I've always gotten whatever I wanted. When you do that, when you affirm that you have always had or been something that you weren't, then it revises that and everything that happened because of that. So, if you're not a person who wants to go in and relive the shit that you went through or whatever it is, you just will flip it to the opposite and say that it's always been this way. I've always, or if you're in a relationship and you want to revise a breakup, you broke up and you want to revise it. We've always been together. We have always been perfect together. We have always had a healthy relationship. We're amazing. We've been together for this many years. What's going to happen in the nat like in the natural unfolding of it is going to be something like they're going to want to reconcile and then it's going to be like it never happened. Although you reconciled because in the 3D world you broke up, the circumstances are going to be like you never broke up. It's just going to go back to normal. It's weird. You have to experience it. You have to test it. Test revision. It's really hard for me to explain because the way it unfolds is like if you got rejected for something and you revise and say you got approved, what's going to happen is it's going to be like a mistake. They're going to come back and tell you they made a mistake or um, it, it's just that's how it happens. It's just going to be something is going to happen and it's going to flip it around in your favor according to what you affirmed instead of the other thing. I feel like I rambled too long in this video, but that's okay. Some of you like my long videos. Some of you appreciate my short ones. I'm not trying to make this one long, but I wanted to give you like every example I could think of because revision seems to be very important to you guys. And I understand that you want everything in your life to have always been perfect. So you can even use just that. Just that will change and revise any situation in your life that wasn't perfect. It will change that and it will make you, it will put you in a reality where all you experience is perfection. So try that one. Everything in my life has always been perfect. And let me know what you think let me know what you revise if you're comfortable telling me and if you're successful with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.